welcome back. If a lesion has affected an entire liver lobe, we will need to do a complete excision of that lobe. Let's begin. A complete liver lobectomy entails the removal of a whole liver lobe, not the whole liver. All right, we're not removing the entire liver. The dog will not be able to live. <laughs> this is indicated for liver pathologies, which has infiltrated an entire liver lobe. So it could be a quadrate lobe. It could be the left lateral, left medial, right lateral. Either way, it's called a complete liver lobectomy. Examples of such pathologies are tumors, cavitary lesions like abscesses and cysts, and traumatic lacerations. The most common malignant hepatic tumor in dogs is a, hepato a hepatocellular carcinoma, in which a hemangiosarcoma is an example of. All lobes need to be assessed if the lesion is localized to only one or it has affected others. One important anatomic fact, the right lateral and caudate lobes are very much closely associated with a caudal vena cava, which makes the removal of the said lobes much more difficult and complicated. The exact surgical technique varies per liver lobe to be transected. Once you have identified the lobes affected, you, you now need to carefully dissect this from its adjacent structures. Ideally, you must use abdominal retractors like a Balfour to effectively visualize your surgical site since the liver is very much positioned cranially. The abdomen is packed with saline moistened lap sponges and the blood vessel supplying the liver lobe must be isolated and double ligated. The double ligature could be a circumferential or a transfixational ligature using an ought or a two ought polyglactin suture. Some would even use a chromic gut, that's fine as well. Make sure to leave a stump of tissue distal to the ligatures to prevent retraction of the hepatic tissue from the ligatures and subsequent hemorrhage. Before you release your clamps, make sure your ligatures are intact. So this is the manual way of um, removing a liver lobe. Identify the vessels, double ligate them, check if there's bleeding. It's like a spade, all right? But one thing that makes this difficult is the dissection of the vessels. Usually, the liver has a lot of attachments, um, a, a mental attachment, um, falciform ligament attachment, and also fat. And these vessels love to hide within these structures, with, within the fat tissues. So dissecting for them and isolating them is very time consuming. This is why the manual way of doing it is quite complicated. But for now, let's watch a surgery video of a case with a massive hepatic tumor. That is the video's background music that is not mine. But for this video, you could actually see instantly the mass inside. The fatty part that is adjacent to the skin don't know video. <laughs> that is the falciform ligament. I think they did not um, choose to remove it. This is them packing the abdomen with um, laparot laparotomy sponges, trying to exteriorize the liver lobe that is affected by this tumor. Remember, your liver is very much attached to the other liver lobes, so you have to be very careful not to damage any other tissue within the abdominal cavity. Ooh. That is a big mass.
So you can see right now that there is a lot of fat attachments of this tumor. So you can see right there. Oops. Okay. Sorry. Let's wait. What's another importance of your lap sponges? It's like when you are um, operating on the intestine. You don't want any spillage of the blood supplying the mass because that could actually contain neoplastic cells and any leakage of that blood would cause it to seed into the other abdominal cavities. So that is one purpose of your lap laparotomy sponges. So did you see that mass? How can we even start to remove that? And did you see the attachments? How can we even start to isolate those blood vessels? It is, again, possible. You can, because these vessels are going to be so big and you are going to be careful detaching it from its attachment. We could just simply isolate them and double ligate them. So that is the original way. However, I will show you a way of how these massive tumors are removed easily, safely, and much more efficiently. Did you see that? Did you see the method that the veterinarian used to um, ligate to cut those attachments? The instrument the surgeon used is a ligature. Now, uh, he used a different brand. It's Ethicon. This brand is Covidian. Um, two companies, same goal. Right. Um, the ligature is an electrosurgical vessel sealing system. This uses a combination of pressure and electrical energy to fuse vessels up to 7 millimeters in diameter and to cut and ligate tissue bundles like the mesenteric fat. This technology removes the need for dissection and isolation.
the average seal cycle only takes around 2 to 4 seconds, but can be more depending on the thickness of the tissue. If you remember in that video earlier, you could hear that sound, that beep, 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 that actually um, tells the veterinarian that it is still continually um, sending electrical um, energy into this jaw from the plug, and it is still in the process of sealing. And there is a different tone of the beeping sound when the sealing is done. Now, it is said that the seals made could withstand three times the normal systolic blood pressure. So you will not be afraid that the seal will just um, let go of its attachments uh, when the patient recovers from anesthesia. Again, the handpiece is connected to a machine through this plug right here. And in that machine, you could actually adjust how much electrical energy is transferred into the end of the handpiece. For example, if you are um, ligating or cutting a very thick tissue, a very mesent uh, thick mesenteric fat, you could actually increase the level of um, cutting power, you could also decrease it for those uh, friable areas. This um, equipment was uh, is thought and it is believed to decrease procedure time, the potential, the potential for blood loss, and the length of the hospital stay for patients. This equipment is actually used in human surgeries, but it is commonly used now also in veterinary surgeries. The ligature can be in different forms to conform with its different uses. Right? You could have quite a wide, um, wide jaw. You could also have a thin jaw, for example, those vessels that are quite deep and you want to be atraumatic. You also have these big ones right here. Let's watch another video which shows how the ligature is used. This one is a big vessel right here. Probably a vein. Halstead forceps is for you to make sure that you are not cutting anything within under that structure, that you are only cutting the liver tissue that you want to cut. So you see, fast, safe, easy. It's all burnt now, and it's gone.